Republican presidential candidate Senator Tim Scott blasted the co-host of ABC's The View Friday for comments made on the show about race and opportunity in America. Joy Behar told me, I don't know what it's like to be black, Scott said during a speech of the Faith and Freedom Coalition event in Washington, D.C. Like to go on that show and have a conversation with them on The View. Because I gotta say, their comments were offensive and dangerous and disgusting. Scott told the crowd he confronted the daytime talk show host over their commentary on issues of race, abortion, and other hot political topics. Scott's appearance on the table talk program came earlier this month, and he debated the panel on how the American leaders should address racial inequality. One of the things I think about, and one of the reasons why I'm on the show is because of the comments that were made. Frankly, on this show, that the only way for a young African-American kid to be successful in this country is to be the exception and not the rule, Scott said. Scott told the co-host on the show. A month later, Behar, a month earlier, excuse me, Behar, a longtime host of the show who was not present during Scott's appearance, said the Republican senator is one of these guys like, like Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, black Republicans who believe it believes in pulling yourself up by your bootstraps rather than understanding the systematic racism the African Americans face in this country. He doesn't get it, she added. Neither does Clarence, that's why they're Republicans. At one point during his appearance on The View, Scott was booed by the in-studio audience, prompting co-host Whoopi Goldberg to admonish the crowd and urge civility towards the show's guest. So, on one hand, I'm kind of sympathetic towards Scott, um, because I've said for a long time that I've always hated how, when you look at Caucasians, and to a lesser extent, Hispanics, um, they're able to be themselves and not be defined by their ethnicity with regard to what their political beliefs are. So no one would ever say that a, a white person who is a Democrat, you know, is is confused or, you know, if, if someone does say that, rather, they're saying it because they, be, they believe the ideology is wrong, not that the person's uh, race should determine what their beliefs are. So I, I have sympathy towards even though I do think uh, Thomas is corrupt, but we can get into that on another day. I do have sympathy towards black conservatives for that fact alone, that they are kind of marginalized um, by virtue of having differing beliefs than what are typically associated with people that are of the same ethnicity. So it's always funny when you have people who say that left-wing people liberals progressives we're, we're snowflakes we get easily triggered over pronouns and all types of other uh you know words right but then when scott goes on a show like the view which is a trashy daytime show that i don't think anyone sh should waste their time with but that's my opinion and he has some someone say something about him or rather they say something about him before he goes on there and he, i don't i don't get how you can say that's dangerous now maybe if behar had said, um, oh, these people deserve to be, have this happen to them, or these people should be have this done to them, then maybe I would understand where you could see it as dangerous. But she said something that I think um, has a little bit of basis to it. Again, you, we can call it dumb or whatever, but it, it's not dangerous. No one's going to come after him because, oh, this talk show host said that he doesn't understand systemic racism or you know believes you can just pull yourself up by your bootstraps and really it's kind of sad to watch someone like this because i said before he's the only senator running he's running in a race where he's probably going to be stuck at two or three percent less so because of who he is but more so because i just don't think the majority of republican voters across the country are ready for a um, black presidential nominee or to let go of trump but what's really interesting is this is a guy who you know I really think if if he were more open to trying to kind of approach stuff in a more moderate way, I'd be more understanding or kind of get like the whole marginalized feeling or, or be more inclined to support his position. But this is someone who who like like it's not, you're not just a black conservative. You lean toward it toward it in a direction that goes even further than the Caucasian ones. I mean, his stance on. Um, Abortion is just as right wing as any other. Actually, I would I take that back because uh, Murkowski and Collins, who are 
also Senate Republicans are pro, uh, pro-choice. I forgot for a moment. Um, and at one point, he was trying to p- tell people to practice ap- uh, abstinence before marrying someone. <laughs> so his his positions are, are just really, really conservative. And when he gets pushed back on that for being part of a party that we're just going to call a spade a spade, is not known for being appealing to African Americans. He says, oh, th- th- this, this rhetoric that is nominally against me is dangerous but it it really isn't it's just it's it's a comment that she's making that's annoying to me because i wish people would get out of using these terms that don't really explain things so if you want to talk about how blacks have a higher rate of going to jail because of nonviolent offenses you know something having to do with an actual statistic that we can say they're where they're disproportionately affected i would be inclined to go yeah that's true he should acknowledge that they should mention this to him but when you start saying you know i you know I already said before, terms like racism just kind of have me rolling my eyes because a lot of times people don't describe specific things they want changed that are supposedly going to make the lives of minorities better. Uh, So I I wish she would have more so said the problem with a lot of these black conservatives is that they want to, in many ways, support the same ideas as groups of people who are not affected as badly by things as members of their own community. That I think that would have been a better way of putting it and then give some examples of, again, what I just cited, if you wanted to go in that direction. But yeah, he's his comments goofy. Um, there, there's nothing dangerous about what was said. And I, I still, I do feel a little bit bad for him, but not, not really because he doesn't feel bad for other people. That's why he wants to cut Social Security and Medicare like all the rest of the conservatives. So my sympathy can only go so far.